Hey guys, it's Rads here, and before the video starts, I just want to do a quick apology for my last video, having two black bars covering the screen. The gameplay is of Shadow the Hedgehog, and when I recorded it, it was on the Xbox 360, and it wasn't in widescreen mode because it's backwards compatible, and as a result, it just cut off two sides of the screen. When I first edited it in Sony Vegas, I thought it would overlay the images on top of the black bars. Now, in the original video, this did happen. However, when I rendered it in Handbrake, it decided to just do away with that entirely. I I don't know how, but it's just, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I also want to mention that we are really close to 900 subscribers, and I want to thank everyone for the huge amount of support that you guys have been giving me. Each time I upload a video, I'm at least getting 100 views on average. I'm guaranteed to get at least 100 views within the first day that I upload it. I really appreciate the support. I'm getting so many positive comments, and it is, it is actually genuinely very motivating, and I want to thank everyone for that. So now, let's get into today's video. So today, we're going to be looking at reaction commentary channels. Now, I have made a video on a reaction commentary channel who went by the name Aiden Projects. Should be worth of note, me and Aiden Projects decided to have a quick VC after that video was uploaded, as he left a comment, and it turns out that Nico, a friend of mine, sent the video to Aiden Projects. I'm not going to disclose the details of what happened in the VC. The interesting thing is that following the VC, basically Aiden Projects stopped talking to me. Whatever, it is what it is. But for some fucked up reason, he seems to be quite obsessed with me. I mean, hey look, if you're going to make lel epic memes about me, Aiden. Uh, why don't you just fucking, I don't know, do it with me? I'm being left out here, Aiden, and this is just unfair. I, I reckon I'm gonna have to call the cops now. This is unacceptable. So anyway, back to the topic of today's video. We're gonna be looking at another reaction channel today who goes by the name Just Destiny. Loves to make Dr. Phil videos. Now, Dr. Phil videos are videos where you pretty much just react to episodes of Dr. Phil or, or small segments of Dr. Phil. Why the fuck this is a thing in the commentary community? I have no fucking idea. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, it's fucking Dr. Phil. Just let Dr. Phil be Dr. Phil. I mean, whatever happened to reacting to the My Strange Addiction videos? I mean, that shit was good. That shit was lit. But reacting to Dr. Phil was just... It's fucking gay. He's got a fair bit of videos on Dr. Phil. And I sat down and I watched his Dr. Phil videos while I was drawing... I mean, tracing this picture of Goku. And to be completely honest, I was not very impressed by his content. His jokes were pretty lame. He doesn't say anything interesting. And he constantly comments on what people's faces are doing. God damn. This woman's face is looking strong as hell. I mean, my god. She low-key looks like a full-blown bodybuilder. Oh my god, guys. Idubs just fucking blinked. This is just amazing. This is revolutionary. I've never seen anything like this ever. I'm Jimmy Firecracker reporting. This is the most fucking amazing event we've ever witnessed. Oh my god. Jimmy Firecracker here keeping you up to date with the latest news. He even resorting to use the most unfunny dead vine ever. They fight, they fight, they fight. Next thing you know, they make up over a nice warm cup of... These nuts... <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh ha 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 ha! How fucking original and hilarious, Just Destiny. Gee, how long did it take for you to come up with that joke? Well, we got to keep it family friendly. We don't want your mum walking in on you and seeing one of your scripts with the word "frick" in it. Now, do we? That just be unacceptable. So, what is actually my problem with this type of content? I mean, humor is entirely subjective. So, saying that he's not funny isn't really a criticism, it's because it's completely subjective. What I find funny, you may not necessarily find funny. Well, it's more to do with the type of content that he makes. Showing segments of Doctor Phil and insert your commentary every five minutes is just teetering on the edge of fair use. And even then, I still personally don't consider it fair use, because you just, you just straight up playing somebody else's video and basically inserting your commentary every now and again. It's just subpar content, and it's just not entertaining at all. Plus, why does he comment on what people's faces are doing all the time? Like, yeah, I know, I've made the joke about people's faces when they pull stupid facial expressions before, but not to this fucking extent. It's almost getting to the point where I genuinely think that his audience is fucking autistic, because it's like he's trying to explain what facial expressions are to his audience. Like, then again, his fan base did subscribe to him, so I guess them being autistic would make a fair bit of sense. I'm actually on the autistic spectrum, by the way, so I'm allowed to say this shit. But seriously, though, guys, I was incredibly entertained when I watched this. Damn, I just gotta say off the bat, Dr. Phil is even having hard times coming up with the words to say. You can already tell from It's pretty eyes, fucking boring, to be honest. Suppressed. I also had the chance to view one of his clickbait videos. Logan Paul punches KSI in the face. It's 10 minutes for ad revenue, and nobody gets punched in the face.
I mean, sweating from your pits is just a natural process of the body. And Jake Paul's over here acting like he doesn't sweat. Like, Hey, um, here's a question. Why is Jake Paul pointing that KSI is sweating underneath his nips a bad thing? I mean, I, like, Logan Paul and Jake Paul, yeah, they're, they're fucking the equivalent of Bing and Bong. But is it really an issue that, like, he said something about KSI's nipples? I, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, between filming a dead body and uploading it to YouTube and saying that KSI's nipples are sweaty. I mean, which one do you think is worse. Um, who am I kidding? Obviously, it's saying that KSI's um, nipples are sweaty. I mean, everyone knows that. I mean, this is just a, it's just not a fucking moral dilemma, guys. Hey, what's this? These guys said that KSI is sweating underneath his nipples. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, what do you know? Just yesterday made a My Strange Addiction video. Let's see if it's any good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, over the course of my life, I've seen a lot of weird shit. I've seen a lot of stuff that would make you question humanity itself. What? This, this right here is just going way too far. She's literally collecting the very liquid that comes out of a woman's baby feeders. That's just... That's weird. Oh, really? You mean to tell me that a woman harvesting her breast milk to feed to her five-year-old children is weird? I never would have guessed that. Seriously, Just Destiny, thank you for awareing me. From now on, I will walk around town letting everyone know that harvesting your own breast milk and feeding it to your children is weird, so that the general public can figure it out. Because honestly, I was not previously aware of this fact until you brought it to my attention. Oh, so not only is she collecting this breast milk, she's also feeding that stuff to her daughter. Wow. All right, time out. This is honestly wild Spartans level over the top editing. Also, thank you for letting your audience know what you just watched. I mean, it's pretty apparent that they have the memory span of a goldfish. There really isn't much else to say about this video. It's honestly just the most unfunniest and most boring video I could ever watch. There's the fine line that separates Memulus from Just Destiny, and that's entertainment value. Memulus could react to a Mind Strange Addiction video, and it would be pretty entertaining and pretty funny. Just Destiny, on the other hand, no. Still, it really does boggle the mind that this guy literally has over a million subscribers. I imagine he gained this popularity from other YouTubers and not purely because he has any kind of discernible talent whatsoever. Anyway, to conclude this video, Just Destiny is one of the most uninteresting and unentertaining commentators I've ever seen. Him and Aiden Projects could make a great couple. Someone should send me some art of Aiden Projects and Just Destiny shipped together, it would be amazing. Largely, his videos don't really have any kind of point to them, he just kind of releases them for the sake of releasing videos for monetary gain. He knows it clearly doesn't matter how boring his videos are, his four year old fan base would watch them anyway. It's one of those things where you've reached the point in your YouTube career where you've just stopped caring. You know, you can now make a living off YouTube, so why bother even trying? I believe that passion is probably one of the most important things you need when being a YouTuber. I know this sounds very homosexual, but hear me out. Good content is produced by people with a passion for it, and bad content is produced by people who have no passion for what they are doing. Just Destiny is such a person. Anyway guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Before this video ends, again, I just want to give you guys a massive thank you because we are really close to 900 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough. That's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.